Hey y'all, Frog Toad here. Well, I was talking to some other YouTubers a few days ago. Uh, 92 Scalloped and I think it's 22 Freedom, Mimbound and a few others and the uh, Fubar Protocol too. We were talking about uh, single sideband stuff and I told them that I have a bunch of gear that I'd really like to get working. So this video is just to uh, to show y'all some of the gear I got and where I'm at and yeah maybe between me trying to figure everything out a little bit of help from y'all I can actually get all this stuff working well there's a Washington model by Uniden and uh, it, no, I know it does more than just Citizens Band at least that's what I'm told but uh, it, it runs on Citizens Band right now and this is what I'm using if I need to I've, uh, I've tested it with the antenna and it seems to work. Uh, this is not where I want to stay, but uh, this is what I got. And there's the there's the mic. It's a A static. It's a pretty cool mic. There's the uh, the Kenwood tuner that goes with the radio that I'll show you after a bit. Sorry, the flip camera is not the greatest in the world, so you can't read all that stuff. It's a model AT250. Then. Uh, this is the uh, the splitter for the antenna. Got a little dust on it. The antenna I have can be used in two different configurations, and that's pretty much what this does: is let you configure that PDL vertical, horizontal, then uh, PDL PDL or auxiliary here, vertical or horizontal here. There's a I guess you call it a linear. It's a way too many watts that would make the, F the FCC unhappy if I used it with that <laughs> that much I know um, I got it it works in an emergency situation if I need to get out I, I will there's all there is to that and that's just a power supply for the little fan that's on top of it um, this is just a tester right here and uh, I think that's a tuning a tuning tester or a tuner. I have no idea what that is. That just came with the gear and there it is. It's got a little little picture of a cat up there if that helps anybody who actually knows what this stuff is. And this is the rotator control for the antenna. And uh, it's all set up. So I guess we'll uh, we'll pack, pack blah, we'll pull back here and uh, just give you another quick look and then we'll show you the antenna. Now this is the antenna that's mounted on a uh, the whole mast here is mounted on a hinge down there so I can lay it down. It lays on top of the strong part of that fence so I can work on the antenna if I need to. See if I can get in this without getting into the sun. And hopefully that's picking that up. Here's the antenna kind of weird to have it up there not really have everything working yet but as you can see it's it's huge and I just needed to get it <laughs> out of the garage because it's pretty fragile and the mast is only a part of the way up right now I guess yeah, about a foot and overall, and I guess it'll go pretty close to 40 feet up in the air. And here's the uh, radio that I'm going to get worked on. It, uh, this is the condition I got it back in from the last people I tried to get to work on it. It's, it's stuck in CW, which I guess is Morse code. And it... Uh, won't change anything. I sent it back. I sent it out to Radio Shack, which was a gigantic mistake. And uh, when I sent it out, <coughs> it had all its knobs. Uh, they managed to not only not fix it, but lose the knobs. So this is the this is the machine I'm going to try and get fixed and try and get uh, hooked up to all that other gear that you saw in there and learn about it. Because uh, right now all I have is the is the Citizens Band radio you saw the. Uh, the Marine VHF handheld there and the uh, the Citizens Band handheld. Uh, 
I'll probably do something on that on that marine band stuff later. I'm a little bit more familiar with that. So that's just a you know another list thing in the list of uh, things to do. All right, fair winds, y'all. See you next time.